this forever. Happy anniversary, potato satellite. One year. Thanks, Ford. One year ago, famous potato satellite, Sputnik 2 was launched by our city's greatest scientist, Mikshi. Mikshi, your potato satellite has boldly gone where no potato has gone before. <laughs> Thank you, Admiral Rath. I guess I could describe it as spudtastic. <laughs> That's one small step for sheep, one giant... Mikshi! <gasps> Should I tell the audience? Sputnik 2 has just fallen out of orbit. <gasps> Says it landed on the Isle of Clam. <gasps> the volcanic island! <gasps> Guess we'll never know what happened to it. Anyone else craving hash browns, or just me? Well, it had a good run, Mikshi. I wouldn't risk a trip to that island. Mikshi, are you sure this is a good idea? I need to find my satellite and put it back in orbit. But what if the volcano erupts before we find the potato? Listen to this. Very little is known about the Isle of Clam, except that it's uninhabited and it's the home of Mount Clamshell, the largest volcano on the planet. Though it's been dormant for nearly 100 years, no one knows when it could erupt again. No one knows when it could erupt again! This was just posted yesterday! Keep watching. Well, someone might know. We can predict volcanic eruptions using morography. It's similar to taking a giant X-ray of the volcano, except we use muons instead of X-rays. Wait, you're in this? Mikshi, can you explain how this is possible? When cosmic rays from deep space hit the Earth's atmosphere, it creates a shower of muons that can pass through dense objects, like volcanoes. I've installed muon detectors all around Mount Clamshell. We can see inside by tracking how many muons pass through the volcano and how many are absorbed. The closer the magma is to the crater, the sooner the volcano will erupt. So, how close are we to an eruption? Yeah, Tom, that's what I want to know. <gasps> hey, what happened to my video? Oh, that device is also processing the volcano data. <sighs> you mean you don't know yet? We won't land until we're sure it's safe. We are coming, Potato! <gasps> Looks like the Potato might have crashed just north of here. Mikshi, forget about the Potato! This might be dangerous! Let's just go home! Uh, Michi, this is my second potato experiment that's failed. Second! Sometimes inventions fail! <gasps> Remember the guy with the radish rocket? Talk about a rotten idea. No one will take me seriously as a scientist if I keep failing. <gasps> Look out! Did 
the hey you just become a jeep? Whoa! Well now what? Can it become a boat too so we can get off this island? <gasps> I think I see the potato! see the potato. If we came all this way for nothing, <gasps> it's through there. The task is complete, Hydrictus. Well done, Lutrina. This great potato has fallen from the skies, so our prophecy may be fulfilled. the sacred potato. Tom Fairbrill said this island was uninhabited. Uh, not now, Ikshi. Uh, um, uh, it says Mount Clamshell could erupt any minute now. Hello, I'm Professor Doug Wintanaka. In today's story, Mikshi used tomography technique to image the inside of a volcano. As you may know, X-rays are not capable of penetrating a volcano. Cosmic ray muons, however, can pass through kilometers of rock, but cannot be used to investigate deep magma chambers since they cannot penetrate the entire volcano. For this reason, they have been used for investigating magma movements right underneath the crater floor. When muons hit the muon detectors on the side of a volcano, a device inside the detectors emits a faint blue light picked up by a light sensor. The light sensor converts them into an electric current that a computer can then analyze. By placing muon detectors at different points, it's possible for real-life scientists to build a 3D image and find the relationship between shallow magma dynamics and eruptions inside a volcano. Just like Mikshi. I hope this inspired you.